prepare? Purposes and two, how have they impacted you? The second one might be it hasn't impacted you, and that's fine, but we need to talk about why. I, I said the data driven lab dialogues purposes for us to predict how we might have built or broken down our character and to kind of be ready for the character progress report. Um, they impact me because they either prove me right or wrong, and that is good to see and to acknowledge. What else? Yes? Differently from Ivan's point about seeing what you do, good and bad, I would like to go in a different direction and say that we do a data driven dialogue to, to realize what we're doing good and what we're doing bad so that we can fix it if we're doing something bad. And the impact that this has had on me is that if I like start stacking up or something, it'll show me like what I need to fix and what I'm doing good. Uh, similar to Anis' point of uh, fixing mistakes, I said that the purpose of our data-driven dialogue is that we are finding our own mistakes and knowing our strong and weak suits and fixing them and making them better. The data-driven dialogue has impacted me on how I have found out I'm not good at asking questions and I will now like, try to ask more questions. Okay. Similar to Aeneas' and Andrew's point of fixing our mistakes, I uh, would like to add that the purpose for the data-driven dialogue is to allow us to realize what we did wrong and to realize that if we want to progress, we must fix that, those, that or those mistakes. The data-driven dialogues have helped me as a student because they point out my mistakes or weaknesses, and I learned to fix them in order to get better grades or higher scores on my seat scores. Two things before we continue. Is it only about the mistakes? No. It's also about what you're, doing well. what you're doing well. And this morning, we're not going to look at the character progress report. We're going to look at the data-driven dialogue for your third quarter grade. So the third quarter ended last week. So again, it's not just about the character piece, but also the academic piece as well. So we talk about the purpose. It's not just looking at what is it that you're doing well as far as that character progress report. What else? Actually. I like the word reflect there. The whole point of this is not just to point out mistakes, but it's to reflect. It's to look at what are you doing well, what are you not doing so well, and what can be done at both ends. If you're doing something well, we want to replicate that. We want to continue it. But we also want to do it better. And if you're doing something poorly, well, we can fix it. But you have to identify it first. So we're going to look at third quarter grades. So take out a piece of paper. Step remains the same. Predict. 
What do you expect to see? Could be based on grades, could be based on attendance. I've highlighted some pieces of attendance for some of you, be it absences or be it parties. Could be about missing work versus turned in work. Could be about warm ups versus final drafts. Two to three solid predictions. Again, do not use the word because. You're not explaining it. You simply want to predict what you think you're going to see. Think about the quality of predictions. If you tell me you predict you're going to get a B and you tell me you predict you're going to get a D, does that tell me that's a solid prediction? Mm -hmm. Nope, because you're giving two pretty widespread rates. And that tells me you're not very aware of what it is that you've been doing. Step two, for those of you who are there, it's going to be to observe. Again, I'll give you your progress report face down. If you haven't finished making predictions yet, don't turn it over. Once you do, observe. What do you notice? Could be grades, could be attendance, could be a mixture. Again, do not use the word because. You're not explaining yet. You're simply noticing what you observe. Three to five observations. Step three, for those of you who are there, this is where we do start making some connections. Again, infer. Why do you think you see what you see? Start making connections between what you see and why you see it. It could be positive, it could be negative. Odds are it's going to be a mixture of both. And again, if you say, I didn't try hard enough, get to the bottom of that. Why didn't you try hard enough? We've talked before about root causes. We want to identify the main issue so that we can either fix it or continue it. I wanted my grade to be higher. Why? What was the motivation? The deeper you can go with the why, the more likely it's going to actually have an effect on what you do. 